Have you ever wondered whether the Ark of Noah was real or not? Did it really exist, and if so, where is it now? These are some of the questions that have fascinated people for centuries and some believe they have found the answer in a remote region of Turkey. In this video, we will explore a recent discovery of the ruins believed to belong to Noah's Ark located in Dogabayazit district of Turkey near the border with Iran. We will also look at the scientific research that has been conducted on the site and what it reveals about the history and mystery of this ancient vessel. The story of Noah's Ark is one of the most well-known and widely shared stories in the world. It is found in the religious texts of Judaism, Christianity, Islam, as well as in other cultures and traditions. According to the biblical account, God decided to send a great flood to destroy all life on earth except for Noah and his family and a pair of every kind of animal. God instructed Noah to build a large wooden ark where he and his companions would be safe from the waters. After the flood subsided, the ark came to rest on a mountain and Noah and his family began to repopulate the earth. But where exactly did the ark land? The Bible mentions Mount Ararat as the place where the ark rested, but this name could refer to a range of mountains in eastern Turkey rather than a specific peak. Many expeditions have been launched to search for the ark on Mount Ararat but none have produced conclusive evidence. However, some scholars claim that they have found the remains of the Ark in a different location, about 30 kilometers south of Mount Ararat. The site in question is a large mound-shaped formation measuring about 150 meters long and 50 meters wide that resembles a ship's hull. It was first discovered by expert cartographer Captain Ilan Durapiner in 1959 while he was examining aerial photographs of the region. He noticed that the formation had a striking similarity to the dimensions of Noah's Ark given in the Bible. He visited the site in person and was convinced that he had found the real ark. Since then, many other researchers and explorers have visited the site and some have claimed to find various artifacts and features that support the ark theory. These include wooden beams, metal rivets, petrified animal dung and even ancient inscriptions. However, these claims have been met with skepticism and criticism by many scholars and scientists who argue that the site is a natural geological formation and not a man-made structure. To settle this debate, a team of academics from Turkey and abroad decided to conduct a scientific investigation on the site in 2022. The team included experts in geophysics, chemistry and geoarchaeology who collected many samples of rock and soil from the area. They also used various techniques such as ground-penetrating radar, magnetic resonance imaging and carbon dating to analyze the samples. The results of their study were announced in 2023 and they revealed some interesting findings. According to their analysis, the samples taken from the site were clay materials, marine materials and seafood. This suggests that there was once a large body of water in the region, possibly due to glacial melting or volcanic activity. The samples also showed signs of human activity in the area between 5500 and 3000 BC. This coincides with the estimated time period of Noah's flood according to some sources. However, these results do not necessarily prove that the site is Noah's Ark. As Professor Farik Kaya from Agri Ibrahim Sesin University stated that with the dating, it is not possible to say that the ship is here. Extensive research is required for this to emerge. He also added that more studies will be conducted in collaboration with other universities in the future. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below.